Good morning, boys and girls, and ladies and gentlemen, germs and germets. Welcome back to the front with Septon Gaming. So, we're looking today at my Tower of Power. Now, the thing about the Tower of Power is I break the rules of the wind turbines. They clearly say not to stick them together, but I find they're more efficient. Let's take a look at my total output here. My tower is producing 2586 in power, and I'm only using a little less than half of that. It goes up and down, of course. We are feeding uh, batteries, and then the batteries are charging everything else. So we're actually probably putting a little bit more load than is actually required. Now, the max that a wind turbine can do is 75. The most I've seen a wind turbine do in this area, regardless of structures, is 61. Each one of these is averaging between 48 and 55 power, it uh, fluctuates, but I find on average it'll be about there. Anywhere between 48 and 55. So let's say we go with 50 as the number then that we're getting, we're losing 25 per turbine. Now, most people I see build a base will go out about three from here and have it sticking out three or four from the base and they might be getting their full 75 if they're lucky, but we're gonna go on the, let's go on the assumption that they're getting 75. So you're getting 75 here. Opposed to on this side here alone, on this floor, I'm getting the 55, 55, 55, 55, and 55, right? So we're gonna call those all 50 just to be generous, <laughs> under generous. So that's 250 points there on that one wall. Most people would have at most 75 on one wall. If you spread it out, you get a little bit more. So I'm doing 70, I'm doing my 250 power there. Then I'm doing another 150 power here. And then again, the 75 and another, or 250, and then another uh, 150, right? So it's 300 on the ends and 500 in there. So right there, what do we got? Uh, 800 on just this floor alone. And then we switched up the, the next floor. And we kind of just kind of spread it out. We put like little corner guys there trying to optimize, try to keep an average of 55. I always worry that these guys will lose the most because they're right next to each other. I figured this guy would have done better, but it must be the angle that we're at, like what part of the tower we're at, where the wind comes from, right? Because every other corner is pretty much getting 55. Again, that's why we're going to average it out to 50, and we're actually doing more than that on average. So, anyway, the whole point is to get the most amount of power in the least amount of space, right? Now, we possibly could have gone shorter, but I did. I want it to be actually over the base, and I want it to be high enough to see it while I'm out farming, so I can easily, easily look and orient myself and head back to base, right? So, and I think perhaps with one more row, I could guarantee all the power I'd need for the base down there until I, of course, edit more traps that require power because we're getting from the 60 to 70 range. So it does require more power as we go higher in levels. Anyway, that was just a quick look at my tower of power and why I do it that way. I know a lot of people like to kind of spread it out, which is great and it's fine and it looks really nice. But I find for bang beer buck for real estate, this is the best way I can get as much power coming out as possible. I have no need for gas generators in the prime base. So thank you for watching. And before we head out, we're just gonna say goodbye to our uh, friends in the house here who've managed to stay past what I can only assume would usually be our nightly server reboot. So that's a nice surprise. We got Marvin the Stabby. Hey, stab me like usual. And we'll go say hi to Bob. And then we'll go say hi to Frankie. And then we'll go log out. So guys, I appreciate you watching. I hope that uh, this has inspired you to build your own tower of power and get off that dirty, dirty gas. <laughs> All right, oh, say hi to Bob. Hey, Bob. Bob's ignoring me again. Hey, Bob, don't ignore me. I can't get him. I don't want to get in the cage. Oh, Bob, you're gonna make me get in the cage. There we go. It's hard to get out. <laughs> All right, Bob, thanks for paying attention to me. He is a little salty. Hey, Frankie, how's it going? Oh, yeah. He's a he's a punchy one, that guy. Oof, he hurts. All right, we'll lock him upstairs. Ah, we'll lock myself in the door. <laughs> anyway, boys and girls, thanks for watching. And uh, if you liked, give me a subscribe and a like. If you didn't like, well, hit the dislike button, I guess. Though so that might hurt my feelings and I might cry. All right, and again, thanks for watching and... Have a good day. Bye-bye.